Hello everyone and welcome back. This is our third episode in this course. In the last episode, we set up our character movement, as you can see here. We can now walk with our keybinds and we can look up, down, left and right. So today, we are going to be creating widgets. We are going to be creating our health bar specifically and we are going to be creating we're going to be creating our health system. So to start, we're just going to create folder and call it UI. So we have everything on our place. We're going to right click user interface widget blueprint and we're going to select user widget and we're going to call it widget blueprint uh, health system. We can just call it like this. Open it up. And we're gonna create a simple uh, widget that's gonna show our health basically. So we're gonna write canvas. We're gonna get our canvas panel. Canvas panel is basically our screen and now you can add things to your screen. So now when we set up our canvas, we can add progress bar. And this is gonna be our health. Progress bar is used in percentages and I'm gonna show you in a little. We can set it up like this and we can anchor it to the bottom so it always stay here even on the small resolutions so that works perfectly. So here you can see this is gonna be our health as it goes down and as it goes up. Uh, we can just change color make it red something like this. You can do whatever you want, just find color for yourself, I'm gonna do red. And for it, it should be all good. Perfect. Uh, you can also customize it, whatever you want, but for now we're just gonna leave it like this. And we can press compile and save. And now we will go to the percent and we're gonna create binding. So this is gonna be place where we're gonna set up our health. So from the health widget event graph, we're gonna go to the event construct. We can delete event tick and event prick construct. And we can simply cast to our OG player character that we made in the first episode and as OG player, player character we're gonna promote it to variable and call it character reference and this is basically gonna be our character reference so we can call it from here and object is gonna be get player character and now that should be working perfectly compile and save we can back, go back to the get percent and from the get percent we're gonna call character reference that we just made. We're gonna get character reference. Uh, and in our character, oh sorry, in our OG player character, we want to go and create variable health. That's gonna be our health. And make it a float. Because float is a real number, it's a decimal, and integer integer is just a number like 64 or 65. And the float is 32 point something, etc. And we're gonna go ahead and create max health as well, in case you want to increase the character health in the future. And now we can hit compile save. And now from the widget blueprint health system, we can just get our health that we created in our character blueprint. And now when you did that, you can just simply divide it. So, you can divide it by 100, if you don't want to add uh, more health to your character and if you really want to make a simple game, but it's not a big difference to just uh, get, it's not a big work to actually make it even better, so we can just get our max health. So in future, when we set our max health, when we compile, we can see our max health has default value. So in the future, what we can do now, 
is we can go to the OG player character and we can change our current health, set it to 75 just to see it, if it works at the end and we are gonna set our max health 100 and in future you can make blueprints that increase this max health when you level up or something, anything in your imagination. So it's really good to have it as a variable and not just stationary number because then if you wanted to change max health you would have a lot of work and you would need to go here and you would need to adjust the 100 number blah 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 etc and it's not worth it. So we're gonna connect it to the return value and here we are done with this. Now what we can do is we can go to our OG uh, player character to event graph and we can go to the our uh, begin play if you already have connected this and you have because if you follow the second tutorial second episode you you will be making movement after the begin play so simply what we're gonna do is we're gonna call sequence and we're gonna move it a little bit up and from the then one we're gonna be creating widget we're gonna select the widget blueprint health system that we just made and we're gonna add to viewport and with that being said we should have our widget in the viewport right now but as you can see nothing happens so let's test if it works actually so how are we gonna do it we are just gonna create bindings keyboard one and when we press the keyboard one we want to apply some damage we're gonna apply damage damage actor is gonna be self and it's gonna be 10 damage this should be working now and we're gonna create a healing as well we can go ahead and create it here just to test if that works and when we when we press we want to get set health And we are gonna get our health because we want to heal, right? And we're gonna add. We can heal for 10, let's say. And from here we can clump float. And our max is gonna be our max health, so we don't go over our max health when we heal. And it stops at max health. And it should be working like this. And now we're gonna create event any damage and from it we're gonna set health and we're gonna get our health and divide it subtract sorry subtract not divide and we're gonna connect it like this and that all is gonna go into our clamp float and our max is gonna be our max health again and return value is gonna be our set health so basically what we did here is when we press 1 we're gonna apply some damage and we, when we press 2 we're gonna heal let's go and test it out if we press 1 we lose health if we press 2 we heal so we have the system perfectly working and today we are done with the health system and in the next episode we're gonna be creating our stamina uh, over this course i'm gonna be improving every system that we make we are just simply let's say prototyping right now so that's it for today hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one